Good morning, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Paddock. I have a uh, another Canada uh, story for you. This one is about beavers. I have to say, I think beavers are awesome, awesome creatures, and uh, they're rodents. Did you know that? Anyways, they are a symbol of Canada. So let's listen and learn a little bit about beavers. A symbol for Canada. A symbol is a picture or object that stands for something important. Symbols can stand for ideas, beliefs, and countries. The beaver has been a symbol of Canada for a long time. Beavers live all over Canada. Look at this guy. Isn't he cute? You know what though? I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. Hmm. Maybe I should say this gal. About beavers. Beavers are Canada's biggest rodents. They spend a lot of time in the water. Their thick, oily fur helps to keep the water out. Beavers use their large tails to steer, kind of like a boat. Can you see the tail? Yeah, kind of cool, eh? Beavers have strong teeth to gnaw on tree trunks and branches. They use the wood to build dams across streams and rivers. The dams hold back water to make ponds. So this part here that you can kind of see, that's called a dam because it's holding back the water, okay? And then the pond is just here. And then this part here that you can see, that's actually called a lodge. And we'll, we'll sort of learn a little bit more about a lodge in a second, but that's a lodge. That's where the beaver actually lives. The beaver and his family lives in the lodge. But this thing here is called a dam, okay? Beavers live in lodges in ponds and they make their lodges with mud and branches. The lodge entrance is underwater, but inside the nest, it's really dry. So here's a lodge. And in order for the beavers to get into the lodge, they have to swim underneath the water and there's an entrance in there. And that helps to protect them, right? Because other animals aren't gonna go in there when they have to swim underneath to get into it, right? So that's kind of cool, eh? Good way to, you know, it's a good uh, alarm system, I guess, for their house. Uh, emblems and symbols. Long ago, fur traders killed millions of beavers. They were sold for beaver fur and they made lots of money. The fur traders put four beavers on their emblem. So here's an emblem for the fur traders and there's four beavers and you can see it here. One, two, three, four. Fur traders sold bundles of beaver fur for making hats. So these things here that kind of look like boxes, they're actually bundles of beaver fur, okay? So for example, the Hudson's Bay Company, um, they were fur traders, right? That's how they sort of started out. The beaver has been used on other emblems too. It was used in Nova Scotia and Quebec. And then in 1975, the beaver became a symbol of Canada. This beaver, so it's a statue, is on the Parliament building in Ottawa. You can see a beaver on our five cent coin. And of course we call our five cent coin the nickel. Several stamps have shown a beaver too. The first Canadian stamp was the three penny beaver. So this is a three penny beaver stamp. And this is the Canadian nickel. How cool is that, eh? And of course we can still see this, right? Because you just have to go look in your parents' coin and it's the, the, the one that has the little beaver. On the other side is the queen, of course. Queen Elizabeth II. Busy as a beaver. Beavers work hard and they always seem to be busy. That's why we sometimes say, wow, you're busy as a beaver. For some First Peoples, the beaver stands for hard work. It's also a clan symbol. So this, of course, is a totem pole, and it shows a beaver holding its tail. <laughs> How cool is that, eh? Can you see the tail there? Yeah, that's kind of cool. And look at its teeth. Ooh, yeah, that's a neat, that's a neat totem pole. They did a really beautiful job there. Let's see, almost done. Beaver scouts are girls and boys who are five, six, or seven years old. The Beaver Scouts law says a beaver has fun, works hard, and helps family and friends. So these are some kids who are part of the Beaver Scouts and they like to share and play together. How fun is that, eh? And there you go. I hope you learned a thing or two about beavers. It's a Canadian symbol, right? And I hope you have a wonderful day. I love you and I miss you all. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.